Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my video. If you are new here, hey, make sure you like, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like these. And also drop me a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts and everything you might want to say to me. So in this video today, we are going to tackle top five ways to make sales in your business. And guys, these are probably one of my top ways that I love to make sales in my business because they have all been effective and they have not let me down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into the video because like I said before, y'all know I'm not a long-winded person. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Number one, optimize your website. For those that don't know what that means, you wanna make sure that your website is super user friendly make sure it's easy for your customer to come to your website view your products easily add it to cart and get them to check out the most efficient and fastest way possible a lot of people use a lot of shopify um, apps that they put on their store if you have a shopify store there's other it's like wix but of course I use Shopify, but they have different apps, different plugins that you can use to help make your website more user friendly, help your customer, your customer basically navigate their way through your website so they can have an experience to where it's easy for them to view your items, check out and get their purchase. Okay, like for instance, one of the hardest stores that I think is their website is so hard to navigate is like Zara. Zara is an amazing brand, but that website, it just gives me a headache. I do not like dealing with that website with Zara. Um, so when I say user-friendly, make sure you have all the bells and the whistles that's on your website. Your buttons need to be a bright color, um, mainly from research. Greens are good um, because it's giving that, hey, push me something where it can stand out from all your other buttons or all your other words that's on your website, it wants to stand out and make sure it's a call to action. Um, buy me, shop now, order now, learn more, or whatever your business may be, everybody um, call to action may be a little different. So make your website as user friendly as possible. The goal is to get them to the finish line quickly as possible to make that sale, to book, reserve, or whatever. Number two, social media marketing. I can't stress social media marketing enough. Like if you have a business and you're not on social media, you are missing out on coins, okay? Ching, ching, do you hear it? You're missing out on it. Social media marketing is around. It's gonna be around for a long time. So you might as well get acclimated too. I know a lot of people do not like social media. They don't like to handle that part in their business. Hire somebody to do it. You have social media managers, you have agencies, all types of people that do social media uh, work for different businesses. Also, a lot of these programs are so, are so user friendly when it comes to things like Canva, where you can easily make any type of content that you're gonna put up for your business. Tap into social media. That means I'm not saying you have to have every social media site, but if you choose to, it won't hurt. Definitely Instagram, your TikToks, a YouTube page if you want to. And it can definitely stem around your business, but it has to all blend and make sense. Make sure you're making content that's for the type of platform that you're using. If you're on Facebook, we know that that's more of a of an older community or friends and family, like people you know. We know that those are the people that um, you're, you're selling to or you're, you're providing your service to. Facebook, is, at least that's what mine is. Instagram are mainly like um, your new people, like your friend of a friend of a friend that don't really know you, but they know you. That's what Instagram usually is. So Instagram, you know, you can grow with your reels. Reels are phenomenal for growth and getting sales. I'm not saying that you put up a reel, you're gonna get sales. Meaning you put up a reel, you're gonna grow your page, you're gonna get more exposure, people are gonna see you, they're gonna wanna know who you are, you're gonna click on it. Ooh, website. Going back to number one, optimization, user-friendly. I like that, I'm checking out, boom. Everything goes hand in hand. So make sure you guys tap into social media if you guys wanna kinda pump up on your sales because it's definitely effective in your business when it, coming, when it comes to getting sales and also customers and also viewers and building a community and everything above the sun. 
just get into social media, okay? <laughs> third, third one is back in the marketing field, email marketing. A lot of people say email marketing is dead. So cliche, I hear it all the time. Email marketing is not dead. Think about it like this. Email marketing is your personal little black book. Nobody can take it from you. It's yours. It's your contact. So if you're using something like social media only to get all your contacts and your marketing, if social media goes down, what are you going to have? If you have your email marketing, you have a list, a spreadsheet that you can reach out to all these people. Also with email marketing, it lands directly into their email box. And if you know how to structure your emails properly, when they go to your site or when they're in the area, you can make different emails that would target certain type of people that may be looking for the particular item you may have on your site or in your store in your services that's how it is when it, it comes to building an email list there's a lot behind that i'll touch on that in another video the marketing side of things and how you can have a currency lots of conversions with email marketing Okay, so y'all tap into email marketing. If you guys don't know anything about setting up your flows or know what a flow is in email marketing, you do have agencies, once again, and you have people that basically build email funnels and um, they build your email page. One of the top um, email providers that I love to use is um, Clavio, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, they're very, very user friendly. If you do Shopify, Shopify do have their back store um, with the emails as well. So if you guys feel like you don't want to spend a whole lot of money for emails, go on Fiverr, go on Upwork, hire somebody to do it. It's basically a system in itself. You cannot lose with email marketing. So that was my number three. On to number four, search engine optimization. SEO. So basically, it boosts your website visibility by attracting organic traffic. And how they do that is keywords. So there's certain type of keywords that you would have to have on your website that's going to lure somebody to your site. So let's just say someone, for instance, I'm a tall girl, right? So let's just say I'm looking for me some tall black leather pants. I'm going to put into Google tall black leather pants. If tall black leather pants or those words are in conjunction with someone's website, it's going to pull that website to the top of my page right in front of my eyes based on the keywords that they have had within their site, their socials or whatever they have it. So it's important to make sure you're describing what you have to the T, especially if you um, have like a niche like that for tall or short or plus size or however, you want to make sure whoever you want to see your page, you want to be direct and you want to be specific within your website, your social media, or so whatever you're trying to, whatever or whoever you're trying to bring to your social media or your website. Because even with social media, sometimes I feel like when you put certain things on your within your social media, it pulls you to your so, pulls to the social media. I found that has happened. So make sure you guys tap into SEO. That is the number four thing that could help you make sales because it's, going, it's going to draw the people that is looking for a particular service, a particular item, a particular product, depending on your descriptions and what you have on your website, it's going to bring that person directly to you. So it's not going to be them kind of picking and choosing where I need to go. It's going to basically be right in front of their face. Got that user-friendly website. Check out. Boom. The sale is yours. Number five. So my number five is probably one of my all time favorites. Um, it's, it's, it definitely takes time, but you, you have to ask for it. And sometimes you got to ask for it because a lot of people don't like doing it. But number five is customer reviews and testimonials. That actually builds trust and influence. People don't trust you. They will not buy from you at all. Every time I want to buy something or purchase something, I don't care. I read reviews if they are there. I may be a little biased, but if I see something without a review, I'm like, mm, 
reviews and I get it you're not going to start out with reviews but the minute you get a sale hey for a 25% off coupon code can you please leave me a view, review and let me know what you thought of my service or my product you want to build those reviews and build those testimonies that's going to make people trust you if they trust you it's going to make them keep coming back they're going to buy from you and they're going to tell people from you which is going to increase your growth your community and all of your sales so make sure you are collecting those testimonials the good the bad and if you're getting if you get bad reviews that also can help you with improving your business and also make sure you comment um, and respond to these people and let people see how you solve their problem they also can see this is a real person this is a real business they care they're responding to this customer who had an issue so people kind of just kind of like to see it's kind of like it's, it's kind of like you can see what everybody got going on and how they feel about things and how it was talked about and how it was handled so make sure you guys do your reviews and your testimonials okay guys that was my five ways to earn sales in your online business make sure you guys tap into all five of those i have a lot of digital products that you can check out that can also help you with starting an online business if you are an aspiring business owner or even if you are a business owner it's never too late to learn I have an ultimate vendor list for any of you that may own a boutique or looking to own a boutique. I'm giving you all of my top vendors. These are people that I've used over the years that I like because when I tell y'all finding vendors was so hard and I've lost a lot of money getting clothes that just was not worth it. So y'all check out ashleyray.com. Go check out some of my digital products, my eBooks. Hopefully something is in there to help you guys. I know something is in there to help you guys. Also drop a comment below. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Bye y'all.